I made an auto-aiming sugar-launching robot that detects coffee cups and shoots sugar cubes into them. The recommendation is to launch the sugar before you put the coffee in, or else this happens. It works now, but it took a while before it did. We are also going to be doing target practice on sugar-free Coca-Cola bottles and go over some problems along the way. It has a camera on board right here that detects the largest red object in the frame and returns information of where the center of it is. To get the cup in the middle of the frame, it uses two wheels to wiggle itself back and forth. To measure how far to launch the sugar cubes, it uses an ultrasound sensor. This is all controlled by a Raspberry Pi 4 and uh, powered by a power bank. As with many of my projects, I uh, first made a prototype. This launcher confirmed that a launch angle of 45 degrees would be enough to let the sugar cube slide down all the way in the pipe. I then worked my way up to this box to see if it was possible to shoot the same distance reliably every time. My concern was that the barrel would cause irregular friction to the sugar cube and not being able to replicate the same shot many times. I clamped down the firing mechanism hard and after some testing I decided that it was good enough to go forward with the next step. The way the sugar cubes are launched is by using two servos where one controls a hook and the other controls the displacement of a spring that is compressed. I made a replica to show you how it works. The spring is compressed by a plate that is connected to a fishing line that connects to a piece that the hook can grab. This is how it works. As the sugar is launched, it behaves as a projectile and we can calculate the spring displacement needed to launch the cube given the distance to the cup by the ultrasound sensor. There are quite a few parts on this little thing and something is bound to break eventually. So I made a test sequence to make sure all parts are working independently that I can run when something goes wrong. It tests all the motors the ultrasound sensor and the camera in sequence. In the next step I wanted to test to shoot a given distance, so I disabled everything except the launcher. First one went in, second one misses. What's wrong? I have no idea. So I'm fixing some parts that I'm having doubts about. This floor carbon line has good resistance to tears, but it stretches when put under tension. Let's replace it with a braided line that hopefully has negligible stretch. It is usually more vulnerable to tears though, so I'm gonna use the thickest one I have. I get some shots where I want them to go, but if we back up here, you can see that I'm pushing the servo down to keep it from slipping. So I made this rail holder to help push it down. Another exciting problem is that the cube sometimes gets stuck in the barrel. So when the plate goes all the way down, the sugar cube is like, nah, halfway down is good enough. I did design it so that if the cube breaks, the fine sugar parts can escape through uh, holes along the sides of the barrel and fall into the box to prevent clogging. But yeah, sometimes it happens. After more than a hundred shots launched, I'm getting into the ritual of doing a barrel clean, if you can call it that. Time to turn the sensors on and see if we can get a step closer to auto-aiming. And I'm still getting better precision if I'm pushing down the servo, so the rail holder is not doing a very good job at this point. Three out of three. Four out of four. And as I'm busy trying to get my finger decapitated, I release the pressure from the servo and it misses. Nope. I have to make some changes to this. Reduce the clearance and it can be way shorter. That's better. One. Two. Three. 
3 change position there's so much sugar on the table that the wheels are slipping it needs a little push this is what the floor looks like by the way Let's try it again. Okay, first it misses. Second goes in. Third goes in. Three in a row. Okay, change place. Uh, I'm going to call that a success. Change place. First misses. Second goes in. It seems to often miss the first shot after it moved. But why? I'm glad it's a repeatable problem that happens almost every time. That'll make it a lot easier to debug. I'm gonna give it a new look while I try to figure out the solution. Some gold and silver paint with copper on top so it looks a bit old and rusty. I also slightly center the third leg. I think that will be a better anti-slip feature and I think I found the problem. The ultrasound sensor is a bit noisy and can give wrong readings, but it is less noisy if you let it settle and take a couple of readings in a row and then extract the measured distance. Inspired by turning the code off while a relay was switched on, I added an optional celebration. This is the victory lap. And this is an excited robot. Let's put it to some over the top testing with target practice. One out of five goes down. Five sugar free Coca Cola bottles are on the table, and the dispute is about to begin. He reloads the artillery in the wrong orientation, trying to film and reload at the same time. Struck by panic, he. <laughs> It goes in at the last minute. Two out of five goes down. Three out of five hits, but still only two out of five down. Safety checking that there's no liquid in the can. Will he be able to make it? Three out of five goes down. Will the fourth can go down? Looks like it goes in for close combat as he has forgotten all about the fifth can. Let's go over and try some long shots where the cup is against the wall since the ultrasound sensor signals will scatter all over the place at the distance if you don't have a large flat surface. It makes the shot. And again. Astonishing. 
And after all this work, we can finally enjoy a cup of coffee with some launched sugar in it. If you want to see me make more projects in the future, you should consider subscribing. Thanks.